I was a photographer and was working on a photo essay book of other dinosaur parks around the country. And uh, I was halfway done with it and my publisher who was funding me went out of business. So I had three, two or three slide trays full of slides of dinosaurs and parks all over the country, plus some text that I wrote. And uh, I thought, I don't know, I, I want to be one of those guys. I don't want to take pictures of them. I, I want to be one. It started in 1981. I built my first one. And uh, I think I built maybe three that year, and they just fell apart. So I, I would, re and it was very popular. I had it out front, and cars were stopping, and people loved it. So I thought, all right, well, that's a cool thing. I'll, I'll, do, I'll build more. So I built another one, and then, of course, that rotted away and fell over. And, and then a friend of mine said, you know, you should go down to EB, and they'll teach you how to work steel. You, you'll learn how to fabricate steel and sheet metal, and you can build a dinosaur that won't fall apart. It'll last for a really long time. So I did that, again, knowing nothing about shipbuilding or uh, metal trade. They just schooled me. They taught me how to do this. You know, they sent me to sheet metal school and uh, the rest, I, I kind of applied techniques that I learned there to this. Right after that, I kind of got good at what I was doing. You know, I, I learned my craft. I learned my craft at Electric Boat. Like a submarine is just a tube, you know, and it's big and it has incredible stuff packed inside of it. Uh, you know, a dinosaur is a tube too. It tapers at one end and it's long and skinny at the other end. You know, so there's, the shapes are, are kind of similar. And if you look at a, a submarine before they put stuff inside of it, it's just ribs. You know, and if you look in here, it's just ribs. It's the same, the same principle.